Apparently Liliana's trying to throw some shade. <laughs> Lil Liliana's like, shade is pretty good. Boy. Ha! Did you I'm gonna teach my little sisters to play magic uh, this weekend. Goku. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna teach my little sisters to play magic this weekend. Yeah. I was supposed to give someone like a starting kit today, but they did not show to pick it up. Whose adorable little bugger is laughing? That'd be Goku's. That'd be Liliana. But at any rate, I am off, my friends. Um, All right. We will be playing Anthem tomorrow, the uh, beta of it. So look forward to that. I will be playing some of that as soon as I get home, and I can get at least one person to go commentate. And then after that, as per usual, um, we will have Devil May Cry later that night. Good idea. So I hope y'all sleep well, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. I see you gotta enjoy. See how it is. Go to. I don't even tell you to enjoy <laughs> things. You already know. You're smart. <laughs> Have a good night. Yeah, Burley's just so tired and preoccupied right now, he might need a reminder. Alright, guys. Sleep well. Boy. Good job. Didn't start again? That's like a fucking ass monster over here. There you go. Start again. Are you dicking me? All this to open a bridge so that my two NPCs can go five steps across the gap. <laughs> Stick it in. Oh, that's looking pretty good, baby girl. Oh, good. That wasn't even the one that did the bridge. Oh. Ah. Keep going. Keep going. I'm, I'm gonna just say that was a shot, though. <laughs> like, it usually takes me longer to line up a kit. Yeah. Uh, then you, you just get it, and it's all good. One of these heart was like a football. Yeah. I'm gonna put that one in. All right. Interesting transfer there. Yeah, don't make it dirty. <laughs> I mean, you see the jump I decided to do? Oh. 
so many watches up here, jeez. I know. Why don't we move this one? And we'll put this one here, okay? Then it'll be a little bit better. Getting mods for days on this thing. I can finally grab this fucker. Oh, I missed. I'm glad they at least didn't put a pit of death there. I found where I needed to be last time by chance. Yeah. And now I can't figure out how to get back there. It's usually how it goes. <laughs> All that, by the way, is just so they can go across this bridge. Seems <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they're, they're just trying to stretch out this last part of the DLC. They come. The useless ass NPCs going to open the door. You're doing good. Because only, only his freeze gun can open the door. No one else's can. Beautiful. Good job, baby. One last exchange for the Nia. Via chat, attached to the sentry in case. Oh, you did a gorgeous job. High five. You did a beautiful job. data point. Text only, so get the game for yourself. Come to this point and read what that says, because I will not be doing so. If we go through all that, and all we have to do is do an override, I'll be a little pissed. <laughs> First. Oh my gosh, it's so heartless is no sweater and it's adorable. There is no light here. It's a spirit present. It's both. But we have to find out. As I'll craft up some resources if I can't care anymore. Alright, fully ammoed up. Grab more loot. Alright, oh, there's another loot crate. They're getting us ready for something. Good girl. Alright, here we go.
Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Security threat confirmed. Hmm. Looks like that's not quite the way. Try rocking this the other way too. Uh, it won't work that way. So. That. That. This one comes out. Have you encountered this type of puzzle? You probably have. I can't see the stream anymore. Like, I'm on your page, but I don't see the stream. It's, Just like, stuck on a... Refresh. Oh, yeah, it might be because I left the page earlier. Yeah, that one doesn't work. Well, I came back and it was working. Oh, on page. That'll be something to do with this. Good girl. Yes, just load him. I have never seen that. Right. Looks silly. Okay, so this one's gonna go one way or the other. Reverse the polarity. I think I think we got it now. So the idea is to make the light touch every node, but avoid the corrupted ones. I think we've got it by building a path that worked and then reversing it. There we go. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Spirit of the blue light, it's Aurea, your servant. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Capture imminent. That is just going wild now. I will try to make the trigger constraint. One has been first, but I am uncomfortable. Unauthorized to recall return to scheduled task. That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? What will happen to the spirit if we do? Alright, uh, did you tell what chat's saying? Because I can't see it right now because I'd shut everything off. Yeah, game. no, it, it just came back up. They're just talking to yeah, each other, asking there. how everybody's doing. That's good. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. Yeah, because that had frozen up on me, too. I would ask you... To let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. The 
lead us into battle. Yes, my love. Keep moving towards so the So exasperated. There you go, baby. Yeah, good job. Beautiful. Now it turns into where the fuck do I go game. Climb some of these formations, but not others. I'm just gonna try and walk on these. Looks like they probably won't kill me. Okay. healing items on the ground here, just saying. It's Groudon, if he's just summoning Maglin shit. <laughs> Got a lot of armor. I'm gonna blow that armor off. using Kuma's moves from Tekken now. <laughs> now it's Gojira. being cheeky but it wasn't quite working out. Let's try to hit its limbs, that seems to be the best place. Did you really care for I mean, you used to live by the third blast arrows. Yeah, but these aren't rift points. These are armored plates. So I like Alps 5, but I don't think it'll affect the not parts per se. Like nothing's coming off. Yeah. 
I'm just getting faster. So I like the sticky bombs, they have delayed explosion. So while he's stunned, I can like set up a bunch. And then they'll all start going off when he gets back up. There's pick camp parts before now, I thought it was cool. I also like the proximities because they don't detonate right away, so if I miss. It's still kind of hit. Um, this last box is good. Yeah, time to set them up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have that luxury. Take two shots for one hit. Oh, that wasn't very stable. I'm basically just launching explosives as much as I can, because it hits multiple plates too. Can get another critical on it. this real quick. Oh, he's gonna be a dick to me though. Fuck you. He's barely hit my tip. Quickly, but Dick Face over here isn't giving much of an opportunity. For fuck's sake, did you get stunned or something? Get away from the tower so I can fight you. Faster, so it's just frozen. Oh, fuck you. I hate the bears. They all they do is cheese your camera. Yeah. There's so much range, it's so far away and it's still hitting me with melee attack. Putting fire in the Just getting up and making my camera angle weird. Another fucking control tower. I need to get rid of it because it keeps taking my shield off. This 
doesn't even, it's not even all that bad, except it's such a dick Yeah. Uh, My ally has an ice weapon, so Kane get fire damage stuff up. Not that this guy probably burns while that level thing is considered, but... I should drop that and shot you on the point. Oh, here we go. Critical hit. It actually like, dissolved his corpse. <laughs> There's just fire everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's like I realized I need to hack the core, but at the same time, there's loot. There's even like supply caches in here. I don't know if he died in the middle on purpose or what, but his corpse just got annihilated in the middle. It was great. That's a purple on somewhere. Ooh, a fire claw heart. I definitely want that. Alright, so more bits and bobs lying around. There's some supply crates over here. Enemies are just walking supply crates, right? Found my way there. Aratok. Aratok. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. Oh, 
absolutely, Belle. He just tanked the boulder in the fucking skull. <laughs> Let's go! I also think my spear got destroyed. Oh, it did just materialize on an asshole. Excellent. Oh, wait. What if I do? <laughs> hey, the place is collapsing. Let's get out of here. Oh, loot. Yeah, really, yeah. Maybe this can't move in. Come on, fatty. There you go. And this guy's good for something. This happens in a bomb, like, seated right near his testicles. Oh, we, we've avalanche, guys. This is Aloy's second avalanche. Just tumble, 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 tumble. If he's looking a little bit uh, frostbitten. And that girl tanks out everything. Pretty much. Just one avalanche, that's nothing. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Aurea's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Then I will meet you there, to the last verse of my sister's song. Alright, so, we'll, we'll go and do this last part. I'm not gonna cuck everyone when it's probably the last part. I don't need sticks so bad right now, so I won't even walk that fast rebel. <laughs> Or if the cutscene just tastes it, that'd be great too. I'm going there anyway. Might as well just put me there. Yeah, but it adds time to make you run there. Or... I could do that. Just fast travel? Yeah. Which, 
sometimes takes longer than just walking there, but it was like 1200 steps, so I'm pretty sure this would be quicker. It's always that like last 20% that takes forever though. Drop a quickie here. It's been a while since we saved. Got some blue gleam. Might as well trade it. I'll just take all this blue gleam. That'd be great. I thought you would want to see first. I'll be back in a I second. captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the demon's attacks. All right. I will speak of this to my brother. Our attack is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. So we gotta talk to uh, our attack, and that one doesn't have a check mark beside it, so I'm gonna guess it's an extra thing. Talking to Cyan probably progresses the quest. Yeah. Do you know that extra thing, baby? If I'd never come along, Araya might still... As if you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya... Oh gosh, me and the Sedthorn are just not doing it tonight. And the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. And of course, full compassion run. So that's what we said at the start of the series. You helped her do what she wanted to find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, a ray of found the spark. I'm proud of her. I wonder if he said that in an ironic way because she was like a cute death. Last I truly know who she was. And why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me. If only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Artok. And where I'm going, or I can't follow. Besides. We'd already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. 
a wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Sorry, I got two seconds again. Sorry. I could help with Alright, we're still in dialogue. You're practically done. Time to talk to Cyan. Should be interesting. So, we picked up another mini quest there. Which, like, if this is the end of the main scenario, we'll probably. I'll probably won't show the mini quests. My goal is never to show every single quest in the game. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Areas, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. So I, I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find Sorry. your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banu. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Alright, deepest lore. Oh my lord. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone. Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes, it was converted to serve as a reserve. I feel like coming out of the cutscene and just immediately getting attacked. You don't get a second to even lose your character. For the firebreak project. Yeah, that's actually a game favorite though. Human workers replaced by Sorry. Servitors. That, that's a gaming favorite though. After my oh yeah, like that was powerful. ridiculous. The, the rudest the one is in Devil May Cry. And when. As part of the cutscene, the enemy gets a free hit that actually takes their HP away. Colorful additions to my vocabulary. That's ridiculous. Like, what if I was almost dead, you bastard? You're not even allowed to dodge. A drone hanger requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats. Though there were no serious incidents during his tenure, Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of yeah. oversight in his. Sorry, position. if it's part of a cutscene, you should definitely not be losing HP for it. That's pretty stupid. Like yeah, like that? if if you're gonna take damage, you should be allowed to dodge. At least yes, have the, at least be given the opportunity. To industrial monitoring stations, to military grade conflict planners, and there were legislative oh, and right. enforcement bodies the wall and to apply limits it. on our self actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. The benefactor? 
but he made machines. I am watching Robots. your chat for War you. It's Robots. just quiet. Correct. I know. I get notifications when the uh, chats pop up. I just can't okay. read them. This tidbit, Fair enough. Mr. Pharaoh spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. And oh yeah, I love those PlayStation 2 graphics. Are you referring to the the scientist? Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. Even like One of the redone, you can still tell the old PlayStation 2 graphics. My creator was yeah. influenced by her work. There's only so much I could do with that code. Impacted my own yeah. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know. I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. <laughs> Letting the whole die as I go around collecting money. Observed from media streams. Sounds sounds like what Disney's actually doing. That is true. <laughs> I was created at a turning point, a concerted effort to recover from global upheaval and incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. I thought we'd land ahead. That'd be lovely. Look at all the dialogue here. There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies. You know how, like, when people lie on their side, like, propped up on their elbow, and they kind of put their hand on their head? Right. <laughs> A Lily fire right now. <laughs> but on her movie and just like turned off all the lights and put her on a pillow. Yeah. So she's lying watching it. Yes. She's so ridiculous. And millions perish as much as 20% of the global population. I should send the pictures I took of her the, the other night in the food chat. Just like popped up on her uh, hand. Right. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation. Green robot technology. Do not make me go find this fucking Christmas again. I'm so Firebreak tough was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. I'm not fighting you guys At again. Least I'm that here. was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. All right. So are you and that handled like a shitload of story. Thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. She just texted me, he's like, I focused so Katie, on Katie's the team leader tonight. In and he's like, well, Katie and everyone's leaving at six, so we're leaving too. I'm like, I okay. I <laughs> Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. It was Araya who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project. about the firebreak project? It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Saya. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility. Sorry, what'd you say? I have been active for centuries, Aloy. Oh, we're checking the status of firebreak. But not lax in my duties. Why are you smacking me? Get out of here. Reducing energy draw Just and spreading the load across back backup there. systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised Good elements way. of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. Did I do it? If only my former Did colleagues could it? appreciate the progress yeah. I have made. Do you know what happened to Oh no, more branching dialogue. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. 
It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interview. Oh my god, I did it, and it didn't take focus. me 20 minutes. It was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the culture? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location. One I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback, it's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to oh be my god, fucking cyan opened I was flooded like a fishing scam, basically. Of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. I loved shooting fish in that game. Yes, I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A hold on, baby girl, system. hold on. Just one second, please. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. <laughs> Hephaestus was one of them. Yeah, we're gonna have our cuddle Based in a minute. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, well, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Why does Hephaestus keep Oh, there's so much dialogue about Hephaestus, The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fireclaws are discouraging, that's for sure. What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. I ran across this strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. It actually goes on forever. We have to tell the entire fucking game to this thing. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. 
How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete Colors control always over machines that, that were part of her yeah. system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. I found oh, this talk about metal fucking machines. flowers. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, hey. the dark. Hi, beautiful. No <laughs> of the well yeah. When I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. Would be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite <laughs> period romances. You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is our okay, all, I, we have to be in close to the end of this dialogue, too. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate. Are you still in the same set of dialogue? Yeah. I will do what I can. They keep looking over like periodically. By sharing our experiences of Araya. Perhaps he and I will It's just it keeps it keeps spawning new nodes. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager catharsis. to experience. I okay, that's it. Aloy. There is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again. And I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. You running away? Yeah. I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Araya. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Life is hard for the Banuk. Forgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be <laughs> intensely uncomfortable. You're right about that. Trust me. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. Oh my god, I just like told you everything that exists in the whole game. I'll come back when I can. <laughs> We're gonna play the audio data point. Please give me more information. Oh, a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us 
I'm probably gonna have to get going in a minute. So I think she's ready for bed. Yeah, oh, we're done. We're back to the main quest of the actual oh. game. Sorry, I always thought we could say you were done. Yeah, so we're back onto the Looming Shadow, which is the main quest of the base game. So we, we finished the DLC, that was it. So after this data point plays, I will save and uh, we will play a different. We'll, we'll play Soul Calibur 6 in this slot next week. But we're done with Horizon Zero Dawn. I might play it off camera to finish up the quest, but I've pretty much done everything there is in the game, except for a few side quests, which are mostly for weapon upgrades that we don't need because we already beat the game. Alright, um, like, look at, this, look at this, there's so much shit left to do here, but uh, it's not necessary to do it on camera. Like, collect all this blue gleam so that I could get weapons that I don't need because I beat everything in the game. Mm -hmm. I'll do that in my own time. But for now, uh, let's pull up a side quest or an errand. Alright, I am going to go then. Yep, I'm just going right. to travel to Convenient Fire and save. Alright, been fun. Hey buddy, Have enjoyed it. You too. And, for those watching on Twitch, uh, drop me a follow if you're not doing this already, helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're affluent, because you can do that now, and that also helps, because... The more you guys support me, the better I can make the streams. Um, I'm looking to get a new router so that we stop getting pixelated streams once in a while. So I need to buy my graphics card for my desktop so I can do stuff on my computer again. Tons of games to play there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, helps out a lot, subscribe if you want to see more, ring the notification bell if you want to know when I post my content. And. This is it for Horizon Zero Dawn. It's been a ride. And as soon as we load in, I will catch you next time with Soul Calibur 6 becoming the regular in this slot. Man, that lasts like 1%. Drop a quickie. Bye now.